Officer Candidate School, or OCS, is the U.S. Army's primary training academy for prospective Army officers. Located at Fort Benning, Georgia, it is comprised of tactical, team, mentorship, and leadership training. OCS is generally open to U.S. citizens who are qualified enlisted non-commissioned officers and civilians who have at least a four-year college degree. Recent college grads with no prior military service must first complete basic combat training before entering OCS. The Officer Candidate School is a 12-week long course that attempts to compress everything that you could learn in four years of ROTC or at the military academy and gives you only those three months to do it. And you have to be completely and utterly committed. Your motivation to serve should be always to lead soldiers. Officers who understand the dynamics of combat and can react and still lead soldiers and inspire them is a difficult task. During the summer of 1940, General George Marshall recognized the importance of establishing rigorous training facilities for new officers. His vision for this training was first put into action at Fort Benning, Georgia. General Omar Bradley, former commandant of the infantry school, is credited with establishing the foundation of OCS training. Emphasizing strict discipline, a code of honor, and efficient organization, tenets which remain the base values of today's officer candidate school. OCS has and will continue to grow and adapt to the Army's needs. The acceptance of candidates and training requirements have fluctuated over the years to assist in any conflict in which the U.S. has been involved. Any increased operational structure is a reflection of the school's ability to transform and execute its mission to meet the needs of a fast-paced and changing Army. OCS graduates come from all walks of life and all backgrounds. This includes athletes and Hollywood personalities, as well as Medal of Honor recipients and notable figures from history and politics. Just walking around this campus, you're reminded that people like Major Dick Winters went here, graduated from here. So you immediately you're immersing yourself into that legacy. Um, as a result, I think that holds you to a higher standard. So I graduated from Yale. Uh, I was an American Studies major. Additionally, I was on a football team for four years. After I graduated from college, I worked in government for roughly two to three years. And that's where I heard that call to surf. And as a result, I decided to join the Army, and here I am now. At OCS, what we're looking for out of candidates is the will to dedicate themselves fully to their craft. A candidate who has high moral values, who can be trusted to lead and mentor soldiers once they commission. When students arrive at OCS, they are first organized into squads, helping them to learn a variety of leadership skills and small unit tactics. OCS is comprised of three phases. The first phase, the basic phase, it's really a foundational environment. It's a total immersion. Candidates are exposed to land navigation skills, to mission analysis, and doctrinal techniques such as military tactics and operations orders. Everything we do is operated by student leadership, supervised by our cadre. We build up the confidence of being a leader, get comfortable with leading PT, leading the formations. The intermediate phase two continues the leadership training and gives students the chance to apply what they've learned in a field environment during an intense 18-day training mission. Intermediate phase is where you take all the practical knowledge that you've learned, including the operational process, and you apply it to squad sticks, which is two weeks at Camp McBride, uh, where we embark on various squad missions, uh, completing objectives, and working as a team. Students emerge from the field training exercise with more confidence. They have learned to ask questions, receive information, make tough decisions, Ship left. and know how the Army functions. I've just begun, but you can already see the, the transformation and the way you behave, the way you carry yourself, the level of confidence, even down to the level of detail that you perform each task. In this phase, students are considered intermediate officer candidates and are assigned a branch. The branching ceremony is a pretty nerve-wracking day. You make your way to the back of the stage, and one of your cadres is there, and they hand you a single gold pin, the branch insignia. You go out on stage, you raise your right hand, and you know that you've reached the culminating moment of OCS. You know how you're gonna spend your next three years, and you know the soldiers that you're gonna be leading. The final phase is the senior phase, where students are mentored by leaders who will answer questions and discuss the realities of the positions they will fill. Senior phase is a culmination of it all. Um, that's where we take all the skills that we learn and we project it for the future as officers in the United States Army. The leadership and tactical skills gained are useful in any arena. When OCS graduates leave the Army, they do so having been a part of something bigger than themselves. 
I'm not serving myself. It's not about rank, it's not about status, it's not about what position I'm in, but it's about what can I do to successfully understand the commander's intent and in getting the mission done. I think what you learn here, leadership, is a universal skill. Whatever you potentially do outside of the Army because you're working as a team. I don't know too many civilian jobs where you're not operating as a team. Graduating from OCS is a day that they'll never forget. This is the day where they assume the mantle of leadership, of officership, and they will go forward from here, learn their craft within their branch, and then move out and lead soldiers. It's a beautiful opportunity for you to not only celebrate what you've done, what you will do, but also what the people who've been pivotal in your life have done for you. I am incredibly excited to graduate tomorrow. My parents are here, uh, my grandmothers are here. After two years, I'm finally commissioning, going into the next phase of my career, and I could not be more ecstatic to do that. I applied to OCS because my father had served 25 years in the military, and everything that he did, he sacrificed for my family. My dad is gonna be here to celebrate me commissioning as an officer, and I'm gonna salute him. He's gonna be my first salute. The Army needs good officers because the men and women who sign up to join our Army and the soldiers that we serve deserve the best to lead them. I've served in the Army for 18 years and I do not regret it one single day. And so I've made this a career because I love what I do, I love serving soldiers, and I love being a part of something bigger than myself. By using your talents and skill while navigating situations that show your character, and by leading with respect, honor, selfless service, loyalty, duty, and integrity, you will soon rise in the ranks of the nation's first and best line of defense. The U.S. Army and the officers who lead it. Officer Candidate School. Standards. No compromise.